Here we have the ampoules that attach to the hyaluron device. These ampoules, we take the product hyaluronic acid and we fill them into the ampoules and then the ampoule is then placed onto the device. So I'm going to talk about today how to fill them. We have two different sizes. This is the 0.5 ml. So this would function with the 0.5 ml pen. And here we have in the white package a 0.3 ml. That would be attached to a 0.3 ml pen. So this is a 10 ml syringe that Hyaluron Queen carries. You can also buy it in 1 ml, 2 ml. It can come in different quantities. So this may differ in size. The ampoules are always the same. And the hyaluronic acid is specifically cross-linked to use with the Hyaluron device. So now I'm gonna make sure that the expiry date has not passed. Make sure they're sealed. I'm going to demonstrate today on one, so I'm going to put the 0.5 ml ampoule aside and I'm going to demonstrate today on the 0.3 ml pen. So I'm going to take my device and I'm going to open up the device. So the difference of the two, you'll see this one is yellow and this one is white and the size is a little bit different. The 0.5 ml holds a little bit more product than the 0.3 ml would. I'm going to begin by opening up the device all the way. Now, if you look closely, you can see the numbers here on the pen. So a 0.3 ml ampoule, when this is pulled all the way, will come to 30 0.01 ml injections. Each line represents a 0.01 ml. You're going to open it all the way until you can't twist anymore. You're going to take your ampoule, open the ampoule package, so this is the ampoule. It's a little bit hard to see but there is numbers on the ampoule and these numbers go all the way from zero to 30. And this here is the plunger. You're gonna see the black part of the plunger, the tip of the plunger is moving in the ampoule right now. If you pull it completely out, you're gonna have the two pieces like this here. You're gonna have the plunger and you're gonna have the ampoule. You're gonna put the plunger aside on a clean surface and I want to fill the ampoule to a full 0.3 ml. I take my hyaluronic acid. Do not fill the ampoule with needles. If you do it with the needle attached to the syringe, then you will get air bubbles in your ampoule. And we are trying to avoid that. So you're going to take the end of your syringe, which is flat. Looks like this. If you look at the ampoule, there's two ends. There's the end that I pulled the plunger out of that was in the pen, I pulled it out. So you have the end where the plunger came out and that's gonna be replaced in that end. And this is the end here. It's a little bit flatter surface. This goes flush to the skin of where you are injecting. So right now I'm going to put the product in the end that I pulled the plunger out of. I take my hyaluronic acid you don't want to do it with a needle because you'll get air bubbles in the ampoule and you don't want to be injecting any kind of air bubbles into your skin. We're going to place the end of the syringe with no needle and the end of the ampoule, the end that I took the plunger out of, and we're going to make them meet. I'm going to show you the transfer of the product now. You have to really be careful because the product will transfer completely clear. You won't be able to see it. Many people think that the ampoule is still empty, yet it's full of product. So you want to keep an eye on that and make sure you watch the product enter the ampoule. Also, keeping your thumb pressure very light on the syringe, because if you press too hard, the product will transfer too quickly and you'll have product loss. So you want to put very little pressure on the on on this part of the syringe. You wanna press slowly for the product to come out. So I'm gonna take this syringe, the 
top of my ampoule where the plunger comes out. I'm going to make the ends meet and slowly you will see the product enter the ampoule slowly. I'm going to do it very slow. Hopefully you could see it right there. Now I'm going to leave that space. I'm going to stop filling right here. I'm going to, because I need room for the plunger to go back in. And if I fill that completely to the end, when I place my plunger back in, you're going to have product loss. I'm going to pick up your plunger and I'm going to place the plunger back in. I want you to see the product rise to the top as I pl put the plunger in. So I'm putting the plunger on this end and you'll see the product slowly go to the end. Now that's it. There we go. So you want it to look like this. Your plunger will be beginning at the 30 because you're using a 0.3 ml device and ampoule. So you're gonna have 30 lines here on your ampoule. You can see there's little lines and it goes up by 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So your ampoule will be until the 30. So now it's going to look like this. It's going to be long. You do not want to pull the plunger back out because you won't be able to get it back in. There'll be an air bubble. When you pull it out, this product's going to stay here and there's going to create an air bubble right here. So when you go to replace it back in again, that air bubble is going to push out all the product from here. And you'll have product loss. And also having bubbles as you're injecting can increase the risk of infection. So we want to minimize that and just know from the start how to load the ampoule properly. And this is it. So when you're ready to load into the pen, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to be full. So you have 30 little lines on your ampoule and you'll have 30 lines on your pen. It's gonna open up till zero. That's the end of your device. You're gonna place the ampoule all the way in and turn. And this is how it should look when you are ready to inject.